YouTube was good. It's your boy. And I'm back in the building for another reaction. This time we will be looking at a clip from a documentary. I don't actually know what documentary it is, but it says in the Philippines, mother sell their daughters to survive. 40 year old man spent $200 to marry a 19 year old girl. That is sick. Just nasty. What is allowed in another country? A 19 year old girl is being sold like a commodity. Soon she becomes the wife of a 45 year old man. Her mother counts the money on the course. It's, uh, it's a white man. Expression. It's crazy. She seems quite satisfied with the transaction. The girl's price Yuck. passes that of most locals. She even gives a thumbs up praise. Oh my gosh, that's so nasty. The Philippines, they live in shanties for generations below. There's an endless sea of garbage. Ugh. The foul smell can be it's crazy, man. Far. Every local family has six or seven children, and 80 of them are girls. It's truly a land of daughters because there's no means of life. This is, this, this is basically this is basically grooming what we're looking at right now. That, that the mother is grooming her daughter to go be with a 40 year old white male who's American, I'm sure, who's probably going to take her back to, to America or something like that. Yeah, that's just, oh my goodness. It is, it is criminal, like I said, what happens in other countries. Like, now that I've seen um, the sound of freedom, it just. You know, that opened up my world about the whole trafficking thing. And, you know, this is a part of that. Livelihood. Becoming a commodity has become the only way out. Whenever tourists come here, whether they are 12 or 13 or even under 10 years old. Girls what? Around, hoping foreign visitors will choose them. Bruh. Away from this dirty and chaotic slum. And their price is very low. Usually Dog. around 10,000 pesos, equivalent to about 200 us dollars. Compared to the cost of getting a wife domestically, it's almost like giving them away. For someone earning 5000 a month, coming here means having three or four wives, living a life of abundance. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. The in front of us just turned 19. She is the eldest in her family, with a younger brother and two younger sisters. She has always wanted to alleviate the family's financial pressure. Today, she caught the eye of an older man. Due to her good looks, the man unprecedentedly offered 100,000 pesos, the highest price in the local area. This deal made the girl's mother Yuck. overjoyed, and the girl gave all the money to her parents, hoping for a better living condition at home. Although it's a transaction for a wife, the wedding ceremony is not to be skipped. The man is already 45 years old. I get the third world country poor slum narrative part of this, but like, bro, a 40 year old man can buy can buy himself a wife in the Philippines, can buy himself a young wife, the age of 18, 19, for the price of, uh, what, what's worth $200? Um, I'm trying to think. What's worth $200 right now? For the price of a a vacuum or something like that, he could a a, a, a person an American per, an American tourist can go and marry a woman that's nineteen years old for the price of a vacuum. Wait, like what world do we live in, bro? Seriously, it's just too much going on out here. With a stable economic foundation. He also organized the most luxurious wedding in the local area for the girl. People look on with envy, wishing that the person in the wedding dress is themselves. Because marriage is like a second life. Choosing to marry a local boy, they would have already had children at the age of just becoming adults and still be living in this slum with no change in life. But marrying a wealthy foreigner, even if he is older, they can escape from here. Having suffered since childhood, they are tired of this life, eager to break free. The older man is happy to have such a tender wife, with the age difference being like an old bull with tender grass in their simple wooden house. They hold the local wedding ceremony, 
The girl joyfully dances the local money grabbing dance, all gifts from relatives and friends. I mean, this is I mean, I I I guess, man, but like when he's like 50, she'll be what she'll what she'll be in her 30s when he's 50? Or she'll be like 25 when he's 50 years old or something like my math is probably off but yeah that uh he'll damn he'll damn near be n like he'll damn near not he'll damn near be like what he'll be like can you imagine like the story you tell your your child about how you met like the like the dad the father of the father of the, the child like that, that that's a crazy story to tell i ain't gonna lie crazy symbolizing an increase in wealth after the local ceremony the man can't wait to kiss his new bride prompting but i mean you know as far as background goes i mean i know that like the philippines is not is like really it's not it's it's a it's a poor area it's a it's a poor country and stuff like this is normal. The younger sister secretly wipes away tears, not sure if she envies her sister's wedding or if she's anticipating the day she will be sold. Man, that has got to be. Yet again, another video where I'm just like, I'm in shock, but I've like seen, like when I was younger, I used to see like a national, not national geographic, but I used to watch the travel channel when I was younger and I, this was something that I used to see, like I used to see this type of stuff. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not really surprised. And then you correlate like watching sound of freedom and then you correlate that with this. I'm not really surprised at all. I mean, Philippines, as far as the background of the Philippines goes, it's like, it's, it's a poor country and with poor countries, they resort to things like this. So that's the end of the video. Um, Give it a like, please subscribe, and I'm out of here.